Thank you for joining me uh, on the Just Talk with Rachel McAfee. Following on our conversation last week on worry, there is one strategy which I would like to share with you today, which I personally have adopted and I found it to be very useful. And this is scheduling worry time or making an appointment with worry. Yes, we know that we are sometimes worried about many things and this strategy would help you to manage worry in such a way that worry does not take over your life. We know that it can be so tough and unproductive if your day is filled with nothing but worry. Worrying about this, worrying about that from the morning right up to the evening and you become even unproductive. So what we are suggesting here is that let's treat worry with the seriousness it deserves. Let's make an appointment with worry. Some of the tips I'd like to share with you is that, number one, schedule worry time. You might decide to make it maybe sometime in the morning because if you make it in the evening, it might bother you uh, when you are going to sleep. Schedule worry time, say for instance, from one to two or from two to three. Make an agenda, all the things that you are worried about write them down point by point when you now start your meeting look at your worry list and take each item don't mix the issues because when you've got excessive anxieties or excessive worry the mistake that you can possibly find yourself doing is mixing up issues so in this meeting we are taking one issue at a time Think about it. Let's say, for instance, your issue would be like, you might not get a job. Let's look at that worry item, not get a job. What is in your mind? I might not get employed. I'm gonna suffer. I will not have food. My kids are going to be um, dropped uh, off from school and so many things. Think about all the worst case scenario. D don't leave anything out. So think of all the negative thoughts that you are having around losing your job. You see yourself sleeping in the streets, you see yourself going house to house asking for food. So everything, just write it down. And then after writing that item down, let's now do the worry thoughts assessment. How true? On a scale of one to five, one being low probability and five being high probability. What is the likelihood of that thing that you are worrying about to happen? Is it one out of five, two out of five? We are now scaling. We want to make sure that we really give this issue the seriousness and the attention that it deserves. Then ask yourself, since the degree of this thing happening is high, number two, what can I do to mitigate what can I do to prevent I cannot prevent it it's, it's out of my control I, there's nothing else that I can do I really need to be employed fine now you are worried about losing your job and you have just realized that there is nothing that you can do to mitigate it number three what is it that you possibly can do outside you finding the job to mitigate the situation. Maybe you've been having a business idea that you have not explored fully. Maybe there are other things. Or maybe you've got a talent that you can now start monetizing it. Maybe you need to research more on your talent or a hobby that you can start monetizing. What are those things that you enjoy doing? How can you help? Because you'll find that with our hobbies and talents, some other people who actually pay us to do that. Have you explored it? So you are still on that issue of losing employment and you have now realized that you have got no control over it. Now you are exploring things that you currently possess. You are looking at your skills, you are looking at your competencies, you are looking at your areas of interest because there might be something. Maybe you like baking, maybe you make the best tramisu, Maybe you make nice cupcakes. Maybe you can start washing cars. Maybe you can start having 
whatever it might be that makes you happy this is now the time to explore when you are doing your sort analysis of the worry what are your strengths what are your weaknesses what are the threats what are the opportunities this is now the time to look only at that particular issue and give it the seriousness it deserves what you realize is once you get into the habit of having worry time you are going to free your mind from excessive thoughts you are going to free your energies you are going to free your emotions from excessive worry instead of you worrying about all the items from morning right up to the evening you can just simply keep on writing them down until you start having your worry time in this worry time you need to respect it sit alone in a quiet place and write down all things you are worried about and take them one issue at a time do a sort analysis what are this what are the likelihood and thereafter go back to your list and rate yourself on a scale of one to three one i'm no longer that worried two i'm in between three i'm worse off how are you feeling because what i've realized is that when i sit down and look back at my list of the things which i thought they were really giving me anxiety and sleepless nights. They now start not to matter that much. And they even bring the creativity side of my mind to say, oh, by the way, I can do this. Oh, by the way, this happened with me during this lockdown. And as a training consultant, I'm not able to go and do my training. I cannot facilitate. There's absolutely nothing that I can do. So I sat back and said, what can I do? Because all my training have been cancelled or postponed. Postponed until when? I don't know. So I sat down and said, I've got programs. I'm a, an accredited trainer. My programs are EQA accredited. What is it that I can do which is within my control during this lockdown period? So what I decided was, let me go back to my list of programs and see which one of these can I convert into an online program. That's what I did, because that is within my control. Which one of these can I train virtually? So what I decided to do, I took one of my programs, um, Anxiety and Stress Management, and I've converted it into an e-learning program. It's going to be an e-learning self-coaching program. And this is only the beginning of many other programs I'm going to do because during this lockdown, I cannot go out there and facilitate. However, the online platform is within my circle of influence. It's what I can do. And I'll basically be now switching my training methods from the face-to-face -to, -face to now selling my programs online. So that really made me feel that if people could sit back and try and view their situations in a positive light, within what you know, what can you do to better yourself? So I'm happy to say that um, in May, I will be launching my first online training course, which will be available through the Achievement Enterprises website and other um, um, e-course hosting platforms, which I'll be sharing with you in due course. Therefore, if you want to self-coach, if you want to manage uh, your anxiety thoughts, if you want to manage your stress, the anxiety and stress management course is for you so look out i'll be sharing more details soon i hope you have enjoyed this program and if you have don't forget to subscribe we have these discussions every friday and leave your comment as to how you have successfully managed your worry thoughts and what has been the results for that thank you for watching and i'll see you again next time